Greetings and salutations, friends, and welcome back to more Hunt for Robot Girlfriend. The, uh, the video game everyone was very excited for, and half of which were very disappointed, and the other half are just sitting here thinking about robot ass. I am the latter, in case you were wondering. Alrighty then, let's see. Are you up and uh, running, little game capture thing? I believe you might be. Let's see. Yes, yes, I think it is. Oh, remarkable indeed. Alright then. We are currently listening to some soothing African tunes. <laughs> For some reason. Actually, it's not as strange as it might sound, as uh, the Soviet Union and America, to a lesser extent Britain as well, were all at the time period engaged in a bit of a race for Africa, as, well, the continent had ass loads of rare and valuable resources, but no real skill or engineering knowledge to get aforementioned resources. So, um... Uh, it was pretty much open for whomever could get there first and take all of it. Come on, not that hooker bot again. Watch out, there are robots beneath us. Really? I thought they were ladybugs. Ladybugs. Please select the desired procedure. Also, I'm sad that she's no longer sexting me. Makes me a little bit sad. Do I have anything worthwhile to upgrade right now? Uh, I've got 155 things. Additional dodge charges. Every major worth a salt mill marathon. Running speed. Avatar. Bulwark. Sleazeball. Shields even damage while dodging. That sounds useful. Hmm. That'd be nice. Born marksman. Restores more health. Um... An extra dodge charge, I think, and the protection from damage whilst dodging, that sounds useful. Right, there we go. Boring ass stat upgrades, but such is life. I am running dangerously low on health, which makes me a little bit worried. Uh. I have, uh, like, one. Lovely. Right, we are gonna have to be a little bit more careful then. Maybe I should actually try to use some of my weapons, as I finally do have a little bit of ammo, actually, which is neato cheeto. Like this, for example, is an excellent opportunity to actually use a little bit of that ammunition. Oh. Except when you forget to reload the weapon, of course. Eek! You hold me, little mother- Comrade Major, based on the enemy's alert level data, you are fucked. Oh. I see. Maybe I shouldn't have done that in front of a security camera. Maybe I should just leave now. Uh, well, at the moment, there's just one of them chasing me. I have a sneaking suspicion that's not gonna last. Yep, that's not gonna last. Okay. Let us just leave. That seems like a worthwhile option. Just... just leave. See? That wasn't really that big of a deal. I left, and the enemies, uh... Because he's a German. He used to goose step through Berlin, and now he's a model communist? Not entirely fair. Comrade Stockhausen was a medical doctor and scientist during World War II. He was a professor of Apparently that does not have the range. I just don't like him, okay? I don't care what he used to be. I just hate the way he's always running around and sucking up to the boss. Squash it. Never mind that. Well, you see, the thing is, they actually did experiments on this um, after World War II. They checked what it would take to turn a communist into a Nazi and vice versa. And it turned out it was a hell of a lot easier to turn a communist into a Nazi and vice versa 
than it was to try and turn a capitalist into a communist or a Nazi. So, I mean, it's, it's not particularly surprising. You've got uh, two ideologies that are basically linked. They're both socialists. And therefore, making you, well, taking you from one variant of socialists and transferring you over to the other variant of socialists is obviously nowhere near as difficult as transforming a uh, capitalist into a socialist. As one should quite naturally assume. So yeah, it makes total sense that you'd have an ex Nazi going around here, uh, helping out the, uh, the socialist communists. In fact, it makes total sense that he would even be a fairly model socialist citizen, indeed. I don't like the fact that you're repairing the stuff I'm killing. I like even less the fact that I have no idea if you have limitations on your things. That. There we go. Eventually it'll start coming. See? Told you. No! I need to upgrade the ammunition on my free gun. Alright. How about we don't play with the infantry respawning droids anymore? Ah, oh, mother. Ugh. Video game! Stop spawning things in my general direction! Just... See, I don't know if there's even a point in killing these at this point. I feel like maybe I should just, you know, run past all of it. Inside. I don't feel like wandering around here all goddamn day. Uh, good Think question. Carefully, comrade Major. Is there anything you might have failed to consider? There must be a way into the VENH. The front door? I imagine the front door will work. We'll try the front door. Locked. What else is new? The front door is Charles? locked. Open it. Unfortunately, I lack the ability to unlock doors. You're like a broken record, you know that? You dead? I'll deal with it. You look dead. Yes, you're dead. You know, it would be nice if my robot AI pal could be a little bit more useful. <clears throat> Academic. See, sometimes you can run up behind them, but apparently not today. They are getting awfully niggly on the uh, the healing capsules. Or is my inventory chock full? Is that why? Because that would explain it. Uh, it probably is, isn't it? Oh, God damn it! Can I? Okay, I can stack that up. I have clash rounds. I don't know why, seeing as I can't bloody use them. Can I stack those up? No. Okay. Right. Well, that explains why I'm running out of healy stuff. Presumably. Aha. Nope. Go away. What the? God damn teleporty fucking enemies! <sighs> no, that still didn't give me a healy thing. God damn it. Okay, those are the ones that spot me, so let's try and avoid those. Die. Mm, that's one of the black ones. God damn it! I'm gonna have to heal. Mm, less than ideal. Maybe I just... Nope. I figured I'd just rush it, but that didn't work either. Be careful, Major. The enemy has raised the alert level. Oh. Ah, uh, really? Ugh. Why must you do this to me? How about you don't? Just getting started. One in the PP, two in the PP, three in the PP, and the zap. Hey, I thought that was supposed to stun you. Stop that. Ah, of course. Yeah, screw the. I am walking on water. I see. Ah. 
You can't do that. Why? Because I have spawned enemies that you must now fight. Combat system does not fare well when fighting multiple enemies, I've come to conclude. Start wasting ammo. Just get it out there so I can actually get some healy stuff. Why did you even... The video game has an interesting interpretation of water, I'll say as much. Uh, okay. I'm presuming the alert level will at some point die down, maybe. Okay, yes, it was the fact that I didn't have enough goddamn inventory space that was literally blocking my ability to pick up healy things. Alright. All dead? All dead. What? What? Oh! Am I being spotted by something? Okay, you're dead. Oh, they dropped that thing. I... Die. 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 Nope. Die. I like the smaller ones better. The ones with limited respawns. They were less annoying to deal with. Oh, God damn it! Infantly respawning enemies! A very good idea in all video games. It isn't. It's a terrible idea in literally all video games ever. Get over here. Oh, come on. What the fuck? There you go. Oh, God, you're repairing them again, aren't you? This is a less ideal start to the video game. It's like, oh, fight the same enemies continuously. Just, just die. Please. Oh my god. Uh, out of fucking hell. Seriously, video game. Now you're starting to test my patience. You were doing fine yesterday, but this is a bit too stupid. There is nothing fun about fighting the same six enemies over and over again. There. Are we done? Are we done? No. No, we are not. Now are we done? Close. I really need to increase my amount of free ammo. Are you not entertained? All right, I think we're done. Christ. Now, give me goodies. Peace out. I need to be scanning more, I guess, but... Like, fuck, I hate stealth things. I don't want to do stealth nonsense. Die. Well, I had ammo. Okay, you know what? Fuck, I'm resetting this shit. I am I wasted so much fucking resources on never-ending respawning enemies. Screw that shit. There. Oh, Christ. Like, I would rather replay the segment than go through another fucking wave of respawning enemies. <laughs> Ooh, no. No, no. Come on. Not that hooker bot again. Like, I quite liked the, uh, like, the, uh, the previous one when we were underground. That was cool. I enjoyed that. But this is less enjoyable. All right, let's move some of this shit out of the way. Um, don't need that, obviously. Do need that. Uh, why did my inventory suddenly get larger? Is it supposed to suddenly get larger? Uh, 
I wish it would tell me what these things are when I'm clicking on them in my inventory, because I actually am not entirely sure what's Healy stuff and what isn't. Uh, disassembly? Ooh, okay. That's useful. Yes. Don't know how those works, so disassemble them. Uh, leave two of those. Leave those. Alright, that gives me more slots. Alright, fine, there you go. Alright, I need to scan them more, I guess. The thing is, I'm not in opposition to stealth mechanics. Just like at the VDNH in Moscow. Indeed. But this statue was erected not by simple workmen, but by robots, based on a sculptor's sketches. This approach has become quite popular over the last year. I don't know how you didn't see me, but I'm grateful. I have nothing against stealth mechanics necessarily, but there needs to be, you know, a framing for the stealth mechanics. You need a stealth video game in order to have the stealth mechanics be done well. And the overworld segment of an open world game is not the place to be doing your stealth mechanics. Uh, this should be the run around, have fun part Charles, of the video game, not the sneak around part of the video game. I lack of the ability to unlock doors. You're like a broken record, you know that? Eh? I'll deal with it. There you go. <clears throat> There we are. Especially as, like, the stealth mechanic is find camera, shoot camera. <laughs> it's not a... It's not really a stealth mechanic, is it? Find camera, shoot camera is, uh... It's elemental stealth element. Not exactly thief, I'd say, you know? Ah. You and your gay little knockdown attacks. There you go. Alright. Also, it amuses me greatly that the still that the cameras designed to uh you know counter stealth don't actually know that you're whoop hitting it. They're connected to the dust overlord mine in space or in, you know, a weather balloon, a Chinese weather balloon. But it can't send a message back to Daddy that it's currently been shot multiple times. Which seems like a design flaw, frankly. An oversight, one might even say. Oh god, you just repaired that, didn't you? Ah. No, I ain't piece of shit. What? Have I been detected? Mm, alarm level zero. Ah, no, those automatically deploy whenever you destroy anything, don't they? Yeah, they do. Okay. Destroy that. Can I still walk on water, perchance? I can. Lovely. <laughs> don't ask me how. I don't know either, but I can. Polymer, but not through regular water. This room contains the hawk terminal, but the security system locked the door when the emergency protocol was activated, preventing unauthorized access. I made an attempt. How about you just freeze? Ah, oh, and spotted me again. Hey. Like, yes, we covered the overworld in cameras because, you know, the part of the game where you're supposed to run around and fight robots and shit, uh, and has basically no stealth mechanics. We decided to make that a stealth video game. Ha 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 hi. Why this? Oh, yeah. There's a hawk in the sky. Uh, just... Just leave. Seriously? Of course you can walk on water too. And also, I hate the fact that you need to you need to hit the specific thing that has looty bits on it. Like, just just let me 
loot. Just do the zoomy thing and let me pick up anything in the area around the zoomy thing. Okay, that'll make way, way more sense. All right, camera restored, and now there's 75 million more robots over there. Oh, well, destroy camera first and foremost. Let's see if it'll just let me in. No. Why? Because combat, that's why. Ah. <sighs> Why? Seriously, why? Oh my god, I'm actually starting to hate this. Watch out! Be careful. The enemy is on high alert. Oh god. And the worst part is you do it and it just resets back to zero again. Mmm. I don't even care about the loot anymore, just die. I wonder if they can repair them if you literally turn them into ice and then smash them. Die, die. No, out of ammo. Oh, motherfucker. Like, I'm- okay, I'm channeling my inner games journalist because I do not want to engage with this gameplay. It's like, sneak around the overworld. I don't fucking want to. This is not a dungeon. This game does not have stealth mechanics. I do not wish to engage with this. Uh, I genuinely don't want to engage with this. I genuinely do not want to. I feel no urgency whatsoever to engage with an open world stealth mechanic. Negativity taking over. It's like, I do not want to. I do not fucking want to. I do not. Uh, there is nothing I have less interest in engaging with open world stealth. Like, oh, Jesus. It's like, it make combat irrelevant. Okay, it's like, oh, we're we here. remade all the stuff again. All right, hacking this, what does it actually give me? disable the Hawk? It isn't responsible for opening the VBNH's doors, you know. Uh, well, I gotta do something, okay? I'll start with the Hawk. What? What do I do here? Active camera, six out of seven. So I was supposed to hack this and do something. Boat station. That's where I need to go, but it's literally surrounded by five million robots, and every time, time I kill one of them, it starts the automatic respawner, which replenishes the robot numbers. You need to kill that, but I'm not sure how you're supposed to kill that. Okay, testing ground six, whatever the hell that means. I can click on the cameras. You'd think I could maybe disable them? Nope. What is the point of this? I have no idea. Alright, well, back down I go, I guess. Okay. I can destroy the cameras, but there's no point in it, because the moment I destroy a camera, they spawn a dude to come repair the camera. Like I said, okay, so there, there is no point in- ah, oh god. There's no point in disabling the cameras, because they just go repair the cameras. Can I hack them? Let's try that. There's no point in going to destroy the crates, because the crate seems to have infinite enemies. And besides, I do not want to fight five million of those things every time. 
I see. Right, so what can I do here? Alt, scan, zoom, escape, F, Q, E, clicky, X. No, there is... I can scan, I can zoom, and I can exit the camera. That seems to be about all of my options here. F on door. You mean that door? Yeah, no, that that isn't open by the camera. That's open by the alert level, not by the camera. I tried it earlier, and it told me that it was closed because of the alert level. It has nothing to do with the cameras. Active camera 6 out of 7. So I managed to disable one camera somehow. I can't enter those. I can't disable the spawners. Whoa. Check out those huge mirrors. What are they for? They're solar These panels you return. Mirrors illuminate the VBNH with natural light and act as solar panels, providing power to the complex. Impressive. A temple of science. This would have been a hell of an event if not for Petrov. Yeah, no, there, there is no scanning the door. The door, you, you can see it right now. The door is open. The door closes when the alert level rises. That's how that works. Game told me this. Well, I guess I just need to fucking summon over all of the enemies and pick them off one by one. Pew, 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 pew. Ow. That was sudden. Oh, a shock baton, baton one. You're not even facing me! Ah, lock on enemies. <laughs> okay, the game is triggering me hard today. Like, I, I hate stealth mechanics. When games that don't have stealth mechanics, I loathe them. Because they're never done well. And this is a beautiful example of not done well. Okay, you just freeze. And then I just kill you like this instead. There you go. No. Come on. Die. And if you kill them in the water, you can't loot them either. Oi. All right, well, it didn't bring over any repair drones, I think, so at least I cleared out those two. All right, there's another, like, bunch of little buzzsaw droidy things over there, I think. Kill the camera first. Okay, now I can go inside the goddamn thing. It's the Hawk's service button. What does it do? It will cause the Hawk to land, so it can be serviced by a technician. Oh, um, lovely. Stay there for. If it fails to make contact with a technician, not long. What? Then we need to move. What are you planning? I'm gonna take a ride on the Hawk and get a better view of the place. Maybe I'll see something. I mean, I was hoping of just breaking it, frankly. Alright, well, maybe this will overcome my vertical obstacles. Pipes. Okay, so I need what to climb I do? it. Hang on to this handle or something? Hold you on tight. Hawks are not designed to be ridden. You don't say. Alright. What are these cables for? They weren't here before. The cables stabilize the hawk during bad weather. Huh. Maybe I can slide down a cable. Aha, uh -huh. I can go over there. Okay, well, I want to break this fucking thing. It annoys me greatly. Uh, all right, well, it'll get me to where I need to go, if nothing else. Interesting fact. From a bird's eye view, you can see that the grass in the park was planted in the shape of the peaceful atom. Oh, the peaceful bird's atom. Bird's eye view? Oh. Okay. Shit, would you look at that? It's that thing again. Be careful. Hawk 7 oh, units hi. are quite dangerous. Oh, come on. It's freaking adorable. It is freaking adorable, but it also looks very dangerous. 
and ridiculously fast. Oh. Okay. We're, uh... We're boss fighting. Ow. Oh, come on. Hell. Oh, that... Oh, right, because I didn't... Uh, I didn't buy the double uh, dodgy upgrade this time around. Uh... Shoot glowy bits? Yes, shoot glowy bits. Shoot glowy bits. Alright, let's switch over to the other thing. Whoop. I do need to buy the double dodgy upgrade, because the double dodgy upgrade was great. Alright. Dodge that, but... And jump over that. This was awfully sudden. I don't have any more health. This is not gonna go my way, I don't think. Do I not have any more health? I don't think I do. Nope, I'm out of health. Okay, well, this isn't gonna work out very well. Oh no, I died before I could touch it. Oh, do not reset it. Actually, do reset it, because I need to buy health. From a bird's eye view, okay. You can see that the oh, thank God. Was in the <laughs> At least it's nice enough to give you, give you a station view. there. Thank you very much, Major video game. That's nice. That's very kind of you. All right, where was the double dodgy, dodgy thing? Because that was very, very, very useful. What? Are you fucking serious? Okay, the video game is doing its level best to piss me off today. Like, do not. Just pause the game when people are in the fucking shop. What's wrong with you? What is actually wrong with you? Ah. Right. So, what will it be, Major? Weapons? Or now, can I can I get that double thing, Edie Bob? Thank you very much. I'm tempted to buy the shield now, actually. The shield might be nice. Or maybe more of this. Hmm. Actually, before I start spending so, anything else, be, let's see if I can buy some health or something. So, these... These are health packs, I believe. It'd be lovely if the game told me, but I believe these are health packs. One, two, three, four, five, okay. That's something. I've got the little retard gun. Uh, I don't feel like the shotgun will necessarily be as useful here, but I've got the little retard gun. I should get one of these shock upgrades for it as well. Uh, one of the little thingity bobs, if I can get it. Not bad. Uh, cartridge. There, electric cartridge. Crate. Okay, and then it was like, no? Oh, does this not have a cartridge thing? I thought this had a cartridge thing. Do I need to upgrade it to have the cartridge Access thing? Access granted. Nope, wrong thing. Ah, luckily I can just switch, nice. Okay. Little macro thing. Aiming device. Cartridge. There you go. Yes. Upgraded. Right. Now it's got a cartridge. Mm. 
now I can put the shock thing in. Okay, that should do a lot of damage, I think. Okay, five healing items. Can I? Yes, I can move through the bushes. Okay. Right, let's try not to fuck up this time. It's a rather aggressive bot design. Lots of bouncy stuff. Lots of energy weapons and projectiles and gay shit. And ridiculously fast. Like, stupidly fast. Nope, nope. Jump too early. Okay. Charge at me. Get out of the way. Okay. Get out of the way. Shoot the glowy fuck me spots. Whoop. Uh. Okay. Uh. How? What am I supposed to do here? Am I supposed to shoot you? No, I'm just supposed to get fucked, I guess. Very well. I wish you would telegraph what attack you're doing a little bit more than that. What are you doing? Okay, you're spinning in a ball. This is not a very fun boss. Alright, endless fucking chain of attacks. I feel like I'd, I need to stay away from it. Well, this is going to be an interesting challenge, considering how retardedly fast it is. I'm going to try hitting it, I guess. Shit, would you look at that? It's that thing again. Be careful. Hog 7 units are quite dangerous. Oh, come on. It's freaking adorable. Does shooting it do anything? Does that make it do its weak spotty thing? Let's find out. I... Video game. I dodged out of the way. Okay. That does do some damage. Just not a lot. Lousy piece of shit. What about a shocking hit? Get over here. Alright, well. I'm doing slightly better than last time. Oh, come on! It's the same fucking animation! I hate how every enemy fucking teleports. Let's see what you got! Okay, get out of the way of that. Never been a fan of hyper aggressive enemies, and this is most definitively one hyper aggressive enemy. Yeah, if you don't have double, uh, Show me what you got. double uh, thing when you're fighting this thing, you're probably just straight up fucked. Pretty sure I dodged that one too, but pretty well, if you say so. Not enough damage. Almost out of goddamn ammo. So it's almost into the way of that one. Reload. For some reason, I feel like trying to freeze this thing is uh, not really going to work very well. 
And I'm out of health. Not ideal. I wonder if I can hit the glowy fucking spots when it's doing that. Keep spamming the shift key. Game. I dodged that. I know I dodged that. First it does that, then it does that, then it's over to fucking melee mode for a bit. Oh, it feels so fucking unresponsive. Like, I feel like I dodge, like, no distance at all, even as it zooms forward to attack me every attack. Mm. Is it worth it just shooting it? Well, I can just use it to shoot that, I guess. Access granted. Hmm, can I get more upgrades? Uh, parkour? Speed? Running speed. That would kind of be nice. Maybe... Range on the shock. Eh, more health wouldn't be a bad idea, but... Please select the desired procedure. You can activate those pillars that crash into it. Okay, that would be nice, yes. Shields from damage while dodging, yes, that's a good catch, Chad. I thought I had that, because I forgot I restarted out of anger and annoyance. Um... I don't think I can unlock more health yet. I should save for that, because fully regening health would be huge. Okay. Look for pillars to... so it can crash into them. Okay. Shit, would you look at that? It's that thing again. Be careful. Hog 7 units are quite dangerous. It oh, is on, quite fucking adorable. dangerous, yes. It is adorable, but it is also quite dangerous. Alright. Okay, you gotta dodge earlier. I am dodging too late. Or too... yes, too late. Oh! Shoot, Chloe, fuck me, spots. Right. Pillars? No. Oh, that thing. Jump. Keep spamming the shift button. Jump. Keep spamming the shift button. Jump. Alright. Now what are you doing? Rolly balls. More rolly balls. Any pillars yet? No. More rolly balls. Get over here. Okay, okay. I still don't see any pillars. I thought there were supposed to be pillars. Pillars, pillars, pillars. Oh. Where did you go? There you are. Liz? Liz? Okay, well, that was right literally on top of me. Okay. 
is being a lot more cooperative this time around, showing me his weak spots a lot more. I still don't see these fucking pillars, though. Okay, just keep fucking spamming the shift key. Keep spamming the motherfucking shift key as hard as you fucking can. Keep distance, he doesn't do the gay stuff so much. Okay, keep distance, keep distance, keep distance. Those are the easiest to fucking dodge, even though he hits you beyond his fucking hitbox occasionally. Heal. Yes. Come on, get tired and show me your fuck me spots again. No way, fuck me spots. No way, fuck me spots now. Oh. Oh shit. Oh shit. Die, 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 die. Please turn into scrap metal. No, no, no. You are so close. You are so close. You are so fucking close. You are so fucking close. You are so fucking close. Ah, yep. Got the spam shift hard enough. Shift. Over. To. Makarov. Come on, come on. Get tired. Get tired. Thank you. Was that a civilian robot? For real? I'm that kidding. Thing, a civilian robot. I agree. <laughs> you have far more experience with combat robots than I do. I, I do? I mean, shit, I do, but I can't remember a damn thing. They seem ah, that's how the different pillars. somehow. Yeah, so you gotta destroy the thing first, and then you can get new pillars. Alright, that makes a certain degree of sense, I suppose. There we go. All right. Please select the desired procedure. Two healing items, and I still have some shotgun stuff left. Did use a lot of macro ammo, but that's not the worst thing in the world. I'm not fond of hyper aggressive bosses. You can really tell we're on the threshold of something really incredible. Something really incredible I just indeed. Wish there weren't bodies all over the damn place. The celebration will be held on Monday in honor of national polymerization and the launch of Collective 2.0. All the highest ranking members of the Communist Party will be here. I can fix all this by then. I certainly hope your optimism turns out to be justified. It will, you'll see. I won't let Dr. Sechinoff down again. More locked doors. Who the hell keeps locking everything? Whoever he is, I bet he's got a goddamn combination lock on the John at home. These doors will be open via a symbolic gesture during the ceremony. Symbolic how? The system of mirrors will focus beams of light on the model of our solar system hanging above the entrance. I'll see what I can do. Ah. Pull the things apart. Uh, the mirror on the left isn't working. Something is jamming the mechanism and preventing the mirror from ascending. Got it. Looks like it's back to the basement for me. Actually, I am looking forward to more dungeons. All right. In 
inside again. I missed the inside world. No entry. And a skull and crossbones. That's encouraging. Where am I? The magnetic shock absorption system is located on this basement level. Data. All the rooms here are full of... Well, like an strong magnetic fields, use shock magnetic calls to change the polarity. Magnetic clusters. I can use an EMP on them. It's not gonna kill me, is it? Let's hope not, Comrade Major. What? So I could get crushed by a falling wall of magnets? Theoretically speaking, that shouldn't happen, but this is merely a hypothesis. I've never been here before. Seriously? That's weird. Comrade oh. Major, have you made it to the VDNA? Puzzles. Kinda. Good. Is that supposed to mean? It means I'm kinda almost there. I'm in the magnetic shock absorption chamber, looking for a way to unlock the entrance doors. Can you open them for me? No, I can't. I don't have the skills. <laughs> This is your responsibility. Then uh, get off flip. my grill. Well, at least it's not the most complex jumping puzzle in the universe. Jump. I'm not going to like those in the long run, I don't think. Those freaks in their goddamn mustaches again. Interesting teleportation. What you staring at, you metal dipshit? I would like an auto loot system. I would prefer an auto loot system. Bingo. All right. Doom Eternal. Chat, I've beaten Doom Eternal. Doom Eternal is fucking easy. Doom Eternal has movement. Another door without a lock. Ugh. Where's the relay, Charles? I don't see anything on the walls. Mm, okay, well... I'm sure there's... something. Is that...? No. Magnets. Nope. Uh, now what? Repair mirror mechanism. And to do that, I need to go over there. I haven't played uh, Dragon's Dogma Nocto Snake, sadly. I heard it's supposed to be very good. I mean, this sounds like it's supposed to be interacted with because it's making noise. Shadow Fox says there is a prompt on the door. Uh, I know, I did try the prompt. It said it was uh, alerts. Now the fuck what? Okay. Magnetic and mechanical testing workshop. Danger. Uh, so John says, watch the first video. If you haven't checked, try disabling VSync and check the 3D settings. <gasps> well, honestly, I've grown used to the thing now, so it doesn't really bother me anymore. When it uh, does weird maneuvers. It sounds like the machinery is stuck on something. Because that's what I came down here to fix. To fix the machinery that was stuck. See an obstruction. Okay, let's do the scanning thing. Ah, things in the floor. What's the point of this fucking maze anyway? The magnetic shock absorption system was developed by scientists from Kiev Polytechnic University. It's a very complex and comprehensive device that alters its configuration according to the situation. So it's Plan B in case of a natural disaster, among other things. 
but it is first and foremost a trial run of the magnetic shock absorption system. Here, under Earth conditions, the system will be perfected so that it can be deployed in space. Cool. Science is power. There's no denying it. But we still need to find a way past all these goddamn magnets. There. Shadow Fox says, So much, you're going to try out Age of Wonders 4? Uh, possibly. Entirely possible. I don't know if I'm expecting much, though. It is a Paradox release, after all. I probably shouldn't be standing on these things whilst I flip the polarity, should I? Interesting positioning. I'm not sure this is how magnets actually function. Uh, how does that help me? I don't think it does. Well, don't fall down. It hurts a lot. More Kalashnikov ammo. Okay. Oh, if I know that stops there. See, I feel like I'm going to take damage from jumping down there. And that doesn't really help me in any way. The old thing says, which combat system is better, this or Ark? Uh, Ark. <laughs> at least, at least in Ark, you have, uh, you have the robots, uh, dinos. You have dinos to play with you. Like, the combat system isn't terrible, but it's like, you, you don't dodge very well in this game. And when the enemies have very uh, charitable hitboxes, shall we say, it gets a pinch frustrating. Okay. Uh, ah, stupid puzzle over there. I feel like I'm about to regret my uh, want to come in back inside again and do some inside puzzles. Alright, so... I need to get over there. Which, if I polarize now, I'm pretty sure I'll get squashed against the ceiling. So let's not do that. Can I... Is that grabbable? That looks grabbable, but it's not yellow, so I'm going to assume it's not grabbable. Nope. <sighs> Platforming in a first-person shooter. Why? There's the thing. I was supposed to get at it from here all the time. Charles, what the hell does Molotov have against Dr. Sechenov? Why do you have to cook this commission up two days before the launch of Collective? Everything's ready. Exactly because everything is ready. What do you mean? Are you trying to say that Molotov and his commission want to steal the fruits of Sechenov's labor two days before the launch? Indeed. The malfunction Petrov caused is an excellent pretext for showing that Dr. Sechenov is incapable of overseeing Facility 3826, and by extension, the polymerization of the Soviet Union. What's the boss got to do with it? This is all Petrov's fault. He's the Fair. one who made the robots turn the facility into a heap of corpses. I'm afraid Comrade Molotov doesn't care how many victims there are, but neither does Comrade Sechenov. What? What the fuck are you talking about, Glove? The boss is doing everything he can to fix this. To be precise, Comrade Major, it's you doing everything you can to fix this, not Dr. Sechenov. But he's the one who sent that me. That is a good point. But why did he do that? Think about it logically. Comrade Sechenov and Molotov both have something to gain from preventing information about this terrible malfunction becoming known to the rest of the world. Because no one would believe that a handful of traitors are responsible for the whole thing. Everybody would think that Soviet robots are dangerous. Quite right. But what conclusion should we draw from this? Only that, hypothetically, comrades Sechenov and Molotov should both have a vested interest in ending this nightmare as quickly as possible. Isn't that More right? Pumps? Yeah. So what? We're seeing a common everyday power struggle. 
Instead of going to the government and having troops sent to facility 3826 to destroy the hostile robots, arrest Petrov, or end this in some other way, Dr. Sechenov mm. is doing everything he can to conceal the tragedy from everyone, including the government. It's a power struggle. Imagine that. Interesting poses yet again. Yes, so... Daddy Dearest is not quite the good guy that uh, we are being told he is. Shocker. And perhaps we should not actually trust Daddy Dearest quite as much as we do. Because he may not have our best interest in mind. In fact, it's entirely likely that uh, he's trying to get us murdered as horribly as humanly possible. There's a thing over there, but I can't get at it. Right, where am I going? I am going... Where? There? Where am I going? Well, this area is different, but there's no way out of there. There are wires going over there, okay. Ah, there. I'm going up there. Okay, fair enough. Did that door open? No, the door stays open. Okay, fair enough. Um, bouncy, bouncy. You can't grab on to the magnetic things. Common everyday power struggle between communists. Oh, okay, right. Here the thing is divided into two, so you can switch the polarity of half the room whilst keeping the polarity of the other half of the room. Okay. Oop. Uh, does that help me in any way? Not really. I need to get over there. That's a fucking leap of faith. Fucking slippery. <laughs> this incidentally is why you don't put fucking platforming in a first person video game. Because the controls are not very well made for it. Um nope. Then put the polarity, then I can just wait here. Then go over there. Hmm. That does not help me. That does not help me either. Nor does that. Okay. I guess I could just... No, I... No, I must be... I gotta need to be over there and then... Over there. Okay, what well, will help me in doing that? Not that. Over there. They can't send in the army. There are too many people. Somebody could leak intel to the enemy and then it's all over. But only reliable men could be sent to the facility, such as the Argentum unit loyal to Sechenov. They could team up with combat robots and restore order in the blink of an eye. But I don't need to tell you about that, do I? But that's, I mean, ugh, crispy critters. I don't get it. Why does it have to be so complicated? Because Dr. Sechenov can't deploy troops or combat robots without the authorization of the Politburo. On the contrary, he's doing everything he can to make sure the government doesn't know what happened. Why do you think that is? Because his enemies would take collective away from him? Now, when everything's built and ready to go, and any asshole with a badge could run it. Quite right. It's all done. Just fix the malfunction and press a button. 
Geniuses, creators, and engineers have already done their jobs. All that's left to do is enjoy the fruits of their labor. In other words, Comrade Molotov wants to put Dr. Sechenov in jail over what happened here so he can take over the facility himself? To be exact, he wants to lead Collective. But how can he? Everybody's going to be equal there. Some will be more equal, more equal than, than others. others. Yes, indeed. I'm still not entirely sure as to the logic of these puzzle thingies, so... Spinning these do nothing, because they don't have an icon on them. Spinning these do something. That splits the beam that enters it. So, yes. Weird puzzle. No, I know that high-ranking Communist Party members will have more authority and collective than ordinary citizens, but that's fine. I mean, somebody's got to make big decisions, right? Is that so? Yes. Why, pray tell? Well, first off, somebody has to be responsible for carrying them out. It's not like everyone can be responsible for everything. Everyone means no one. Someone's got to take responsibility. The buck has to stop somewhere, right? And if the whole world did nothing but debate big decisions, no one would ever do anything. They'd spend all their time talking. But what if you're wrong? You say that the entire world would never stop discussing important decisions. A collective is a collective mind. Having merged into one, mankind will instantly know everything anyone wants to express. And in this singular collective, Responsibility will be determined not by fear of punishment, but by awareness. <laughs> Has anyone ever reached that level, even here in the USSR? We're not perfect, to say nothing of the rest of the world. Absolutely right. The world may not be ready for the launch of Korea. The Soviet Union's leaders understand this. That's why the party will have special discretionary authority within Collective. What's wrong with that? That's how it's always been. Has it really? Or has there always been one indisputable leader? A puppet master controlling the Politburo, the Council of Ministers, and all the rest. Are you trying to say there's going to be one single leader in Collective? I'm trying to say that people will connect to Collective via a neuro connector. You mean a thought device. Everyone knows that. The thought device is for ordinary citizens. But individuals in privileged leadership positions will have special engraved connectors that grant them a higher priority on the network. So even the leaders will be equal. That's a good thing, right? It would be. But Collective can only be launched via the Alpha Connector. It's the key to everything, including assigning discretionary authority. So Dr. Sechenov has the Alpha Connector right now, and Comrade Molotov wants to kick him out of the facility so he can take the Alpha Connector for himself. Exactly. The number of people killed here as a result of Petrov's betrayal is a precious little concern to Comrade Molotov. He wants to take control of Collective. That's why he's on his way here right now. Crispy critters. I never liked that guy. He's always complaining about Sechenov, but I never expected shit like this from him. We gotta hurry. Well, you're missing the primary point, that even if you had a collective consciousness that could actually literally connect everyone simultaneously, then that doesn't mean you would make the right decision. The overwhelming majority of aforementioned collective would be, well, informed by the majority, rather than by the people who might know what they're talking about. So this little thing is the reason everything's all jammed up? <laughs> this place is nuts. You can ascend to the surface along with the mirror. For once, you're right. I'd probably reach Nirvana before I could make it back down the way I came. And the issue being that sometimes the experts are right. Sometimes the experts are not right. Sometimes their opinions should simply be valued slightly differently than those of regular people. Sometimes somebody who has spent a few duck decades, decades, uh, decades actually thinking about something should in fact be awarded a greater degree of uh, authority in a matter. Simultaneously, sometimes, precisely because they've spent the last few decades thinking about that thing, their uh, opinions must be tempered by the rest, because they might decide that that thing is now so very, very goddamn important that there is no way you should be able to mess with it. How would the Collective determine this? 
Well, they would be the tyranny of the majority, the presumably. Yet, Comrade Major. The government's commission's condor has already left Moscow. They'll be here any minute now. If the commission mm. hasn't landed yet, that means there's still time. Just let me work in peace. Shall I report to Dr. Sechenov that it is his requests that prevent you from working? Yeah, you can report on how you ran away from those robots on the maglev platform instead of helping. I am not a soldier, Comrade Major. I am doing intellectual, not menial labor. Smashing robots is your specialty. The only labor you're doing right. is talking my ear off. Right now, you're wasting my time and slowing down my mission. What? Nothing. Ah, uh, that's what I thought. And there's also the inherent problem with any sort. Ah, kind of another one of those. There's also the inherent problem with. Are you still friendly? You appear to be. You, however, look a bit fucked up. An eternity looking at this worthless hunk of junk. The backstabbing machine that killed me. It's a phase. It'll pass. It's already passing. I can't even remember my own name anymore. But his metal mug is still there. I still remember the bastard gutting me. They told us robots were going to replace us. As staff, I mean. Well, There's nothing I can do for you. Well, he looks friendly enough to me. Scrap, 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 scrap. I still think the uh, looting system could feel more satisfying. You know, just ev pulling everything out in a huge just swirl of shit. Other eyes, there a possibly. Is there a ah yes? There's the hint for the thing. Okay. Uh I'm not gonna fucking remember that. There. He's not Scottish, chat. He's a Nazi. Nazis weren't Scottish. At least as far as I'm aware. I am unlocking a bunch of new blueprints, which I suppose is nice. I don't know whether or not any of them are actually going to be more useful than the thing I already have, though. I wonder if you can reset weapons upgrades as well, because you can reset the... Uh, the bullshit Bioshock powers whenever you want. Which is, of course, useful. Huh? Oh, there's a lock on the other side of the door. Right, well, fair enough, I guess. Right, do I have anything cool? See, I've got 73. I should be saving for that, which is a lot. So, yep. Let's just save for that. So, what will it be, Major? What about guns? Uh, I have insufficient everything for absolutely everything. I imagine I'll want to save for the Dominator. So, just need a buttload more metal parts. Okay, metal parts it is. But we'll be happy. Happy to help. How can? Can I? How can I help you? I need to get into the exhibit. How do I open the door? The door can be, be opened with my multi key. Error. Multi key not found. Could it be with your arms? Can transform their index fingers into keys. It's one of their basic functions. Looks like you lost your multi key. My forearms have been torn off by miscreants. Error. The required manipulative node is missing. The unlocking function cannot be initiated. Right. I imagine. Where could she have lost her hands? I suggest you start searching this location. Well, Charles, what do the special neuro connectors for Collective look like? You know, the ones the government is supposed to get. The ones they will get look like thought devices, but in a golden diamond encrusted shell. 
The scientists from Dr. Sechunov's team have already received different devices. Different? You mean there's gonna be ones with different capabilities? According to Dr. Sechunov's plan, bureaucrats and civil servants will receive fakes. Only the scientists will receive real connectors with discretionary authority. The boss is gonna try to deceive the government? That's crazy. How do you know that? Where did you get your neuropolymer glove from, comrade nature? What? You mean yourself? I got you from Dr. Sechenov. Exactly. Hold on. You mean he gave me his own glove? The fate of his life's work depends on the success of your mission. <laughs> and there's Tereshkova's arm. What's that metal pervert doing with it? That is a robot waiter. Who's serving the people it killed? I'm gonna smash that fucking bot to bits. The robot isn't currently hostile. We should be able to retrieve the arm without a fight. Um, I believe it's currently hostile now. Nice. Fuck that. There's no way I'm leaving that oh. thing alive. I mean. As I mentioned, it is most assuredly currently hostile. It may not have been previously hostile, but it certainly does seem hostile now. Don't you splooge over me. Don't you fucking dare. That, well, that was a gaming journalist shot right there. Right past his head. Rather than on it. Alright, well, he's dead. I don't get why those things are ho not hostile most of the time, and sometimes hostile. But yes, so the communist utopia fell apart for the exact same reason that every single communist utopia ever will always, have always, and will forevermore fall apart. Because the people responsible for giving everybody the same powers as they have, thereby, you know, allowing everybody to be equal, decided that it would be a terrible idea to let everybody be equal because, well, then nobody would be there to take the uh, hard decisions. And so they decided to make themselves a bit more equal than everybody else. Hardly surprising. And to be fair, they have a point. Again, at the end of the day, you have to have some sort of mechanism to determine what input is favoured over other input. You must have some sort of value system to determine who gets to decide what and for what reason. That reason could be expertise, that reason could be experience, that reason could be, well, being elected into governmental office, etc. A completely flat system doesn't seem to work, mostly because it has never actually worked in the entirety of human history. Theoretically, you could have the idea that a flat system could work, but uh, I somehow doubt it. There's a reason why, at least, we've never made it work. Hello, I have your arms. Oh, I don't need you anymore. How does it work? Hold it up to my neurosensor contacts. Multi key activated. All right. Elegant. Very elegant. Not to mention as well, indeed, the idea of responsibility. So, the, the previous argument... Now made, what? You won't have responsibility because of fear of punishment. You will have fe responsibility because of awareness. Thank that you for coming doesn't to my aid. work. Not having the key felt like I was missing a limb. One moment, please. Did we fix her or break her? The Tereshkova is a state-of-the-art model with a self-repairing system. A famous actress and cosmonaut contributed to its creation. I don't give two wet farts. But... Okay, enough. Later. Oh. Greetings, comrades, and welcome to... What the fuck are you babbling on about? What speech? Your print my algorithms are glitching with horror, but my databases lack the verbal and visual, <laughs> visual tools, tools required to express fear, horror, or other negative emotions. <laughs> That's I was created to funny. remain positive and optimistic no matter what. The grotesque dissonance between my behavior and the gruesome surroundings grosses me out. 
but there's nothing. Uh, I see. I get it. Okay, bot. Set the VDNH to drill mode. Drill mode? This would lead to even greater aggression from passive and physical security systems. It will endanger you and may lead to death of the surviving people, assuming there are still any left. Exactly. If there are any left, this place is a fucking graveyard. Now follow my damn order, bot. You have given me a most peculiar command. All people in this complex have been killed by robots, but you are unharmed. I am armed. This arouses suspicion. Prove that you are a human. I will not follow the orders of a robot pretending to be one. And how am I supposed to do that? Commit seppuku? You must pass the Darwin test. This will prove that you are a human. <sighs> What the fuck? What test? How about I just rip your head off, huh? Without her help, activating drill mode will take too much time. I gladly confirm this information. Fine, knock yourself out. Hit me with this damn Darwin test of yours. What am I supposed to do? Prove that you are human, Pioneer Nichayev. Put three items on this pedestal that represent the three main values of a Soviet citizen. Art, labor, and life. Crispy critters, now I gotta deal with another crazy-ass lock? Fuck, I'm a magnet for annoying bullshit. See, video game, the fact that you are pointing out that this is annoying-ass bullshit does not make it any less annoying-ass bullshit. It is still annoying-ass bullshit, even if you fucking point it out. Ah, goddammit. Alright, where was I at? Because there's two interesting things there now. Okay, so the idea of responsibility. Uh, so, you, you replace the fear of punishment with awareness. Are you a thing? No. The thing is, you can't be aware of everything. If you're doing an experiment, for example, you cannot be aware of the result of that experiment until you have actually carried out the motherfucking experiment. And so there is nothing to be aware of of. You cannot somehow know that what you're about to do is stupid and suicidal because you haven't done it before. And therefore, when you do it, and it backfires horrendously, you will need somebody to take responsibility for the fact that the thing backfired horrendously. Even if it is merely just perfunctionary, or perfunctionary responsibility, a la, oh, you know, you know we, we couldn't know this would fuck up? But somebody has to take responsibility for the sake of taking responsibility. Giving that responsibility to simply the entire collective means that you are now going to be paralyzed because there's going to have to be responsibility and therefore there's going to have to be, well, consequences. So you'll end up punishing the entire collective or avoid punishing the entire collective by simply never doing anything. You're locking yourself into a bit of a retarded pattern there, frankly. As for the robot, see, that's interesting. Because she somehow understands the idea of horror. I have a few questions. Actually, no, that's interesting. Where are the pillars you talked to me about? I didn't mean to do that. I was trying to press alt. Uh, pillars. I have the thing. Where are the pillars? The idea that a robot understands horror... It's strange, but the Tereshkova loves them, even though she's a robot. Uh, okay. Even if you have the ability to understand horror, which apparently the robot does, they are not programmed with the necessary vocabulary or the emotional registry to actually express horror, which would leave them in an interesting little fugue state where they're scared shitless, but they literally are unable to express the fact that they're scared shitless. That is an interesting psychological phenomenon that should freak them out really, 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 really bad. Mark Sam says the collective deserves to be punished. <laughs> that might very well be true as well. Okay, where are these pillars you were talking to me about? Pillars. Pillars. This does not look like a pillar to me. This does not look like a pillar to me. 
I have the three things. Do I need to talk to you, or do I need to use this thing? Uh, no. Is it pointing me towards the thing or the robot? So... Yes! I am all... Uh-huh. Here you go. I hear the springs cheerful... Oh, shut your face, you dumb... I'm sorry, Lizmonro. Put something I just Radio give them to her. Okay. Put the citizen and blah blah blah. Blah 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 Video game. Video game. Video game. I would very much so like to get on with the fucking video. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. This whole thing is Thank just you. monstrous. The robots must have completely lost their minds. Alex B says, Does the collective have pastries for chubby Norwegians? It better have. Otherwise, it will suffer a particularly vile and discomforting end. Every robot in this game has an enormous ass. Except for the female one, weirdly. Like, this is a relatively subtle ass, everything considered. Oh my! Would you look at this? Helping lumberjacks and first responders is such a noble goal. But you, how do you use the arms our creators have given you? Like a primitive animal. Like a beast to crush and dismember. Okay. A uh, background for the things. I actually appreciate that. Thank and you. And this one. It just stands there buck naked as if nothing were wrong. Have you no shame, robot? Publicly exposing your iridium compactor. You do realize he didn't do it himself, right? So those things, first responders. Oh my, that's a mess. And I don't see how. I wonder we'll have to clean it up. I should dispatch the cleaners this instant. No, wait. It's the cleaners that did it. I'm so scatterbrained today. Oh, I envy you humans. You can just pick up a razor and shave that horrible monstrous mustache off. But this one, you're not even a machine, you nitwit. You're just an imitation, a caricature, a piece of lab equipment. Pardon the outburst. It's just that one of them used to try to... Oh, well, let's change the subject. Why did you give them... Mustaches. There's a wide range of the lab tech models. The ones in black turned out to be especially vicious. They've been using their harmless built-in range-finding laser to pick off humans from a distance. Yeah, that's not a range-finding laser. Just so you know, the black lab tech specialization is determined by the software package encoded within a specially constructed Kinetico Scholar NeuroGel capsule. You can salvage this package from one of the defeated... Oh, motherfucker, stop. Stop. <laughs> Just stop. Just fucking stop. I'm sorry I asked for backstory. I apologize. Let me go. Help. Clawing on the wall. Help. 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 Just let out. Just let me out. Too much talking. Let me out. Please, my little fingernails are bleeding. Just... Just let me the fuck out. <sighs> Getting fucking Hogwarts legacy flashbacks. We have no choice. She's the only mechanism capable of utilizing this capsule to upgrade your weapons. Yeah, yeah. Move your ass, Tereshkova. We're in a hurry. On my way, comrade. Ian Jared says, sort of unrelated. Did you see the video? Please don't buy Atomic Heart. I did not. Who's a good boy? Who's the sweetest, silliest, chubbiest little boy? You little goo. He is you chubby. You don't attack people even when you're in combat mode. 
because you're such a little sweetie, isn't that right? Aren't you precious? Yes, he is precious. I'm assuming the entire argument is that it's made by Russians and therefore funding the war in Ukraine and therefore you shouldn't You're buy the video comrade. game. The administrative control drive should be at this booth. Please establish the connection. Excuse moi. Booth? Connect Tereshkova. Only try to be gentle, comrade major. I have very delicate internals. Oh, what just snapped? Relax, bot. That's my joints cracking. Okay, sure. Why not? Just, uh, yep. Ah, does this look all right? No, no, this does not look all right. Level rights. Granted this looks wrong in every what single now? solitary I'm way. Opening the door to the atrium for you. Search each of the complex's floor and find my dear Claire. I'll be in touch over the radio. As oh, that's soon not as necessary. You floor, I'll scan it for my poor friend's parts. Most of her is on the ground floor. Please put her back together again. I'll consider it. Let me go. Let me go. Thank you. Hey. <sighs> That was a lot of puzzles and a lot of talking and very little fighting. And I'm twitchy right now. Oh. Okay. Wow, check this place out. It's like a palace. Talk about class. Let me just drink it all in. I'm not sure I wanted to do that. Welcome. Thank you. But yes, I'm presuming the... Uh, I, I do know there was a bit of a push to try and boycott this game. It doesn't seem to have succeeded very well. Um, not a quite as enormous a disaster as the attempt to boycott Hogwarts Legacy, mind you. So there's something. But it didn't work out. I mean, hell, it's like, okay. Your argument is the company is Russian... And since Russia is invading Ukraine and they're paying taxes in Russia, that means that if you purchase the game, then you're funding the invasion of Russia. Which, I mean, is theoretically sort of true. I mean, if the company paid tax in Russia, then some of that money could theoretically go to bombing Ukraine, I guess. But, I mean, if we're going to go that far, I hope you haven't bought any American-produced games the last few decades either. Because, uh... Invasions have been a remarkably common day incident so far. Oh. <clears throat> ah, I wish this game had a block system. Not to mention. We probably should not be blaming Russians for the actions of Russia in the same way that we should not be blaming Americans for the actions of America. I don't know. Not everyone in America wanted spiraling inflation just because, uh, Biden decided to give it to them. You know, there's a difference there. Lousy piece of shit. I probably shouldn't be using so much ammo. Ah, yes. The harmless range finding laser capable of tearing people in half. In case somebody's wondering, uh, most range finding lasers are in fact not able to bifurcate human beings. It's very rare, highly unusual. And uh, entirely pointless, mind you. I don't know why you would make a range-finding laser that goddamn powerful. In fact, I'm pretty sure it would defeat its very purpose, because the point of a range-finding laser is to find the exact distance to a target. Whereas if the laser is... Ooh. Well, there you go. Whereas if the laser is powerful enough to cut them in half, well, that is going to give you an incorrect distance reading now, isn't it? A very incorrect distance reading, in fact, seeing as it'll probably bury itself 500 meters into the goddamn concrete, or whatever you're measuring. Let's see... Where am I going? All the way down there, seems like. I take it that's closed because it's red? Yes, it is. Oh, 
On the other hand, I guess you could also view it the other way around, namely that, uh, yes indeed, you are supporting the invasion of Ukraine by purchasing this video game and you're happy with it. Who knows? Actually, shouldn't have done that. Oh yeah. That's an entirely normal uh, shock staff right there, as you can clearly see. You, uh, you dead yet or something? No? Oh, well, the cleaner machine will put you out of your misery eventually. Oh. Developing a sneaking suspicion that these guys kind of just keep coming. Where's your fucking button? Ow. Oh, didn't think that would hit me. It did. Dead. Nope. Now you're dead. So... Where am I going? Ah, down the stairs. Makes sense. I wanted to die today. Well, you got your wish. You went on the tour, didn't you? I did. I never wanted to come here. Yes, shut up. We're gonna go back to the plant zombies. That is not the destructible kind of plant zombies, turns out. Oh, good. Another one of these creepy things. Plant zombies? No. At least not yet. It keeps giving me Kalashnikov rounds. I guess I could have picked it up somewhere already, presumably. So, what will it be, Major? Weapons? I miss the sassy one. I miss that one. That was way more fun when it was hitting on me. That was amusing. Well, we're going to continue saving for that, because that looks fun. Locate Claudette at the ground floor. Claudette is in many pieces. Okay, this is new. What's wrong with her head? Welcome! Come, Claudette! What the f- Charles, is this another corpse? I am Oracle. I am... Got it. Talk about rotten love. What is this skeptic? An interesting deviation. This woman is suffering from polymer overdose. Sure. Okay, well, we're not going that way. Ah. All right, well, that was a place to put it. Sure. Can't go in there. Can't go in there. Don't want to go in there. Fear my tiny little pew pew water gun. It makes pew pew noises in your general direction. And you will feel the pain of my poor aim. There. Looty bits. All right. Well, that's the majority of her, but not the important bits. Unfortunately. Can I seriously not get up? Thank you. Uh, I wish you'd told me that sooner, video game, but very well. This is 
one over there. Can I even get to that? I can. New scanning cycle. Module, limb, leg, left. Not found. <sighs> Just great. So where am I even supposed to look? I swear on my cooling unit, these mustached perverts must have dragged her into the maintenance room. I'm on my way. Aha, okay, there's just several different... Why am I suddenly moving so slow? Areas that I need to explore. And that is locked. Oh. Nasty. Right. Um... Why am I suddenly moving so slow? Is stepping on that do it? So, something up there, something up there, something down there. Let's start at the bottom. The mustachioed perverts have dragged her corpse away to do with them as they please. Jeff D says, Ukraine asked the publishers to block sales in Ukraine and restrict sales in other countries. One reason given was Russian devs not condemning the war. Okay. Well, I mean, that is within the Ukrainian government's rights to ask, I guess. But I don't see why anyone should listen. Like, hey, don't sell this video game. Why? Uh, uh, well, it's a video game. I don't really see the point. Not to mention, this place used to be really nice. as much as it seems Until to be the opposite right now, I don't remember exciting. becoming a vassal state of Ukraine. Like again, I am hardly a Russian simp, okay? But I don't really see the point in stopping playing video games because Ukraine got invaded. That seems weird and silly. Ukraine and Russia will have their little territorial conflicts over there, and that will be fine. We can send them things to help them, and that will be about it. Wow, that looks unfortunate. I did see China got all uppity about it a while too ago. Complaining about uh, the US sending weapons to uh, Ukraine. Oh. Oh. Okay. That was a lot. Of oh. Alright. Fair enough. Okay. Uh, shit. There's spawners somewhere around here, aren't there? Yep, they are. I should probably try to deal with the fucking spawners first. Uh, spawners, spawners, spawners. Spawner, 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 kill, spawner. Don't get put in a corner. If you get put in a corner, corner you will be very, very sad very, very quickly. Okay, that's one spawner. Alive? Yes. And out of ammo. Alright. We will get back to the fascinating Ukraine discussion in a second. Just need to not die. Okay, that is dead. Never mind that one. That's dead, that's dead, that's dead. On the roof. And one more. Two more. Oh, throwing tables at me now. There. Ow. There is no point in fighting them until the goddamn spawners are dealt with. Alright, now there's a point in fighting them. I'm guessing the plant people are nowhere near as susceptible to electricity as the robots are. That would make sense, but they are susceptible to an axe to the face, fortunately. Right. Everybody dead? Everybody dead. Fantastic. Lord comes our Spartan says the funniest thing is the devs actually did condemn the war 
in as hard terms as feasible considering the, you know, Russian police at 3 a.m. thing. Oh. Well, I honestly haven't looked into it, but I'll take your word for it. That's the other thing, too. You've got to understand that people in Russia can't... Well, one, they can't dictate what their government does. Derp. Not without, uh, well, literally, I was about to say not without doing elections, but it's Russia. The elections are less than entirely open, shall we say. I suppose you could argue that's about several other countries too these days. But they do need to be a bit careful about what they say and how uh, strong terms they use. It's not the US. In the US, you just need to worry about Google censoring your ass because, of course, well, it's the same over here. You can't say anything you want in favor of Russia, for example, without Googling. Or, well, without Google censoring your ass, so... It is, in many ways, the same problem as we have over here. You simply can't speak out that loudly because you're probably going to get cancelled if you do. I told you disconnecting the Terrish Kofas from the network was a bad idea. They've been acting weird lately. You don't believe me? Just listen to this. Look, my dearest Claire. See that group of humans? They're visitors. The little ones are newer models. They're called children, and they make things prettier and more fun. The ones that are a little older are called students. They can do a little bit more. And the older model behind the column is called a senior citizen, and he seems to keep staring at us. They're talking about me. They saw me. Those robots were watching the people at the exhibit like they were the exhibit themselves. It's all really creepy. I'd wipe their memory if I were you. The robots are gaining sentience. So, didn't I come in here to find the robots' arms or something? Also, why are there plant zombies here? I don't see a reason for there to be plant zombies right here. This doesn't really seem like a plant zombie kind of environment, if you get my drift. Hmm. Yeah, but just walk right past this. It's... Uh, oh god, this again. Um, how did you do this? Ah, okay. So, I need... First and foremost, I need those two to be next to each other. But not that way. that way and then i need oh no that was stupid i shouldn't have done that uh there yes i don't really see the point of arguing about this game either this is a, a decent enough game it's mixing hey, together too many... New. You may need to apply spatial reasoning here. There's no may about it. These locks of yours are really something, you know that? Ah, oh, Christ. There are too many... things in this goddamn video game. Like, it's trying to be... Bioshock and System Shock and a little bit of a little bit of Doom in there too and a little bit of action and a little bit of RPG. It is it is too busy and it kind of fails at doing many of the things it kinda of should be doing. Like the combat is okay, but if they'd put more effort into it, I imagine the combat could have been, you know, more than okay. If they'd put more effort into the story, I think it could have been more than what it currently is. If they put more effort into the the voice acting, the dialogue, the little companion character, maybe he could have been more than he currently is. A lack of focus. Oh, well, there's the Kalash uh, blueprint. Too many ideas, not enough follow through on any one is how I'd probably put it. Hey, Charlie, why couldn't they just put regular, more reliable locks everywhere? Like with codes and shit? I suspect it's because if they had, anyone who hacked the code would be able to open the locks without authorization. Yeah, but now anyone who solves the puzzles can get through. In other words, pretty much anybody. Correct. I mean, it's... 
Again, the video game is taking the piss out of the video game. It's like, why do you have these stupid locks? Where? Well, it's, it's because it's a puzzle. It's like, okay. I get it, but I fucking hate the changing direction in mid-fucking air bullshit a lot. Recognizing that your system is stupid does not make the system less stupid. It just means that you have recognized that you have created a stupid system and then elected to go ahead with the stupid system regardless. <laughs> oh. Hey, look at that. This is what we call abusing a mechanic. What? Okay, that goes straight through things. And a one, and a two, and a spin. You are awfully bullet spongy. Thank you. It's like shitting on the carpet and then looking around, looking at the enormous crap you just took on somebody else's carpet and going, wow, Charles, that was pretty awful of me. The special neuro connectors from Sectionov's team look like? Why the did I do that? Connectors have the Greek letter gamma. Why did I shit on your carpet? They are worn on the right arm. Gamma? What happened to Beta? Or are those the fake connectors you told me about? The fake connectors do in fact have the letter beta on them, but the beta connectors were real at first. Uh, I don't get it. The first experimental prototypes of the neuro connectors with discretionary authority were called beta connectors. There were only two of them, and Dr. Sechenov designed them to look like rings. So, what happened to them? After the necessary oh, experiments were complete, Dr. Sechenov removed these rings from the list of special neuro connectors. Enhanced gamma models shaped like bracelets were then made for the scientists, one for each member of his team. Okay, there are only seven of those gamma connectors for Vavilov, Korolyov, Kurchatov, Lebedev, Pavlov, Filomonenko, and Chelome? Indeed. That's why people keep asking us if we've seen the rings. Because the rings are full of special bullshit inside of them. Special bullshit that we would like to have. Special bullshit privileges to special bullshit privilege land. Once again, I'm slightly unsure of what the hell I'm doing. Uh, oh, okay. I need to get up there. Aha. Uh -huh. Um, okay. Very well, video game. Okay, well, I can't get through there without having an open space, so... First and foremost, I need to make sure I have an open space. Like that. No, because then I can't get in. Alright. Yep. Oh, no, 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 no. No, 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 no. That's no, 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 no. That's not it all. First, I need that, and then I need a thing in there that can allow me to get up there. Which... Will that do it? I don't think so. Will that do it? No. But that might. Ah, yes. It's the quest for the rangs. The rangs of power. In this case, the rangs of power are actually rangs of power. Because the rangs of power give you access to the robotic hordes of Mordor, as it turns out. Which, to be fair, would indeed make them rangs of power. It is true. There we are. See, that wasn't so bad. Hello, mustachioed bot. We meet again, you and I. It is always you, with your fucking stupid ass mustache. There. For some reason, I couldn't hit him. 
Mountain Fish started that stated they are adding an FOW slider. Well, that's nice. I would argue that the Field of View slider should probably have been in the game already, but oh well. Honestly, I don't mind this Field of View. This is enough Field of View for me, but I know that some people get really, really sick if their uh, Field of View isn't wide enough. I have had that in games for myself too, where it is just... Oh. Oh, okay. Well, I, I guess I... I guess I just fucking die then. Alright, so I didn't take the health damage from the robots, mind you. I, take the, I took the health damage because I wasn't aware that this laser fence had appeared behind me and instantly took all of my fucking health away. I, well, that was mildly annoying. Mildly annoying, indeed. Butt sex time? No, not butt sex time. Flinching. All right, let's be slightly more prepared next time before we step in there and get ambushed and then instantaneously murdered by the spawning bad bots. Uh, do I still have the electricity thing for this? Vodka. Significantly reduces incoming damage. I mean, sure. Sounds useful. How do you like that? Ooh. It also gives me some sort of kind of pseudo, maybe a little bit slightly bullet timey thing. Can I grab all of you? I can! Wow, that's really unfair. Vodka. When you need to not take damage from evil killer robot people. Ow. Ow. But still take damage anyway, because vodka does not make you, uh, invulnerable. This is not how a shock baton functions. I have said this before, but I would like to repeat my argument. God damn it. I'm really thinking I should maybe get that polymer shield thingy, because if it's this goddamn good, that seems frankly unfair. Please, just fall down. There. Right. Vodka. It lasts for a long time as well, which is good, because otherwise vodka would have been kind of shit, probably. Vodka, get yours today. Reload my guns. I just spent a buttload of bullets there. I want a shockwave baton. They seem useful. Ah, golden pigs. Do they? Yes, yes, they do indeed have golden pig testicles. Good. I would have been quite disappointed had they not possessed the golden pig testicles. It would have been a tragedy. Well, I don't immediately see how the golden pig testicles are going to help me get further in the video game, so let's spin the wheel yet again. Not immediately sure how this is going to get me further in the video game either. Spin the wheel a third time. Uh, okay. Right, those walls are not actually active. I need to get over there. Uh... Ah. Maybe? Activate detective mode from that Batman game that everybody's copying. 
Oh, I don't see how this is gonna help me either, honestly. Uh, righty then. Okay, so we're back here. So I need to access that thing somehow. Okay. Because now that is underneath, is there any way I can get underneath? Ah, okay, this room... Ch ah, it must be this room. It's got to be that room, so check out that room for something. Alright, so can I still access that room? I cannot. Can I get underneath? I cannot. Okay, the door is marked in yellow, which means that it's telling me I need to do something. Ah, <sighs> uh, the fucking puzzles. Um, no. Okay. So, I can't use these for anything. Is there any holes I'm missing? What am I not seeing here? Puzzles, puzzles, fucking puzzles. Um, what about if... Like that? Does that help me in some way? You know, other than just taking away most of my health? Okay, well, I still can't access it. <sighs> puzzle, 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 puzzle. God damn it. This is more of a puzzle game than it is a fucking shooter game, I swear to God. It's like, I never understood the fucking whole... Okay, no, wait, no, now. No, yes, yes? No. No. Yeah, no, I still can't get up there. <sighs> it's like, if you want puzzles in your game, fine, fair, that is okay. You can, you can have some puzzles. I even sort of understand the argument that you put in puzzles to take a break from the main gameplay of the game. But I, I actually kind of don't. It's like, okay, well, you've made a game, and it does one thing well, right? Why would I wish to take a break from the thing that the game does well. Why would I wish to take a break from shooting and fighting things to solve puzzles? <sighs> what am I not seeing? You? Can I... No? Uh, maybe when it's inverted? Because the cages are gold. Which tends to indicate that I need to do something with the golden stuff, because gold indicates something you can do something with. Alright, there's a climby thing. But I can't reach the climby thing. Dr. Sam says, don't like puzzles? Read chat. Well, I could, but chat is wrong most of the time. That's the problem. And chat was telling me to go back and uh, open the door, for example, by pressing F on it. The locked door. Until I got into the other door and didn't trigger the alarm. Most of the time, chat is wrong. That is the problem. Right, so now I can reach that. Except I can't. I mean, I can reach that, but I can't. Hey, I hate fucking puzzles. I can 
get on that, but I can't get up there. I'm getting too hung up on the fucking gold, I think, because I keep thinking that the yellow means I should do something with the yellow, but clearly the yellow needs to align with something off screen, so I can finally get to it via that, but I can't quite wrap my head on how. Because none of that fucking works. Alright, you can't- sometimes you can climb them, not always. Okay, well that makes a lot of things a lot easier now that I know that I can climb those things. Alright. If I change that, then that'll dump me down there, which is... Fine? Or should I try and stay on it? Because that brings me over there, which gives me the pipe. Okay. So literally what I was missing uh, was that I could climb the things. That you was about it. The facility service See, again, that's major. not even a puzzle, because half the time, you can't climb bad. those fucking yeah, things. The truth is out there, right? That's just dumb. I've never seen bots like these before. Well, this robot is very dangerous in melee combat. <laughs> oh, so that's why I'm getting my ass kicked. Yes, I can see why it might be very dangerous in melee combat. Because for some reason, you decided to attach scythes to it. Uh, video game? There we go. Show me what you got. Oh, it... of course, this? the pillars doesn't stop it. It moves right through the pillars. Well, I tried to take cover. Is this a part of my robot friend? Yes, it is a leg. Okay. We have a foot fetishist robot amongst us. That's mildly disturbing, but. Very well. Charles, I've never seen Dr. Sechenov wearing a bracelet before. Does his alpha connector look different? Indeed it does. His device is unique, and its shape and location are one of Dr. Sechenov's deepest secrets. So his alpha connector must be really well guarded. Who's watching it, Argentum? Entrusting humans with the connector would be far too risky. It's guarded by Dr. Sechenov's personal bodyguards. You mean the ballerina twins? The way they move. They're so graceful and elegant. Oh, they kind of remind me of something. Is that so? What exactly, Comrade Major? I don't know. Something... something good. Something good. Well... I mean... The man's not wrong. They do remind me of something good. Damn it. The ballerina twins are just gonna be like one endgame boss fight, aren't they? And nothing else. Ah, oh, that's disappointing. I was hoping they'd feature a bit more prominently in the video game, if you catch my drift. Alright, well we've finished one. Come on, spit out of your thing so I can kill them all. Boom. Boom. Easy. Is there any more Luna dirt containers, by the way? What can I see? I should probably loot those. There. Alright. Next thing. Next thing was over there. I have one of these things for you. Uh, 
Uh, oh, I need to attach it first. No, don't do that. That's gonna hurt. Ah, goddammit. Oh, it didn't. Huh. Here's your leg. Do yourself a pair thing. <laughs> cool tech. One limb down, many to go. Thought they would be recurring mini bosses like Big Sisters in Bioshock 2, what a disappointment. Yeah, same, that was what I was kind of hoping. Um, I was also kind of hoping that they wouldn't necessarily be reoccurring mini bosses, but they might be an element to introduce doubt into what you were doing. Like sometimes they'd help you, sometimes they'd fight you, and you'd have to try and figure out if they were like enemies straight up, or if there was something deeper behind them. It would help to make um, uh, Sechenev a little bit more difficult to read, since right now it's, it's basically obvious that Sechenev's evil, just straight up evil in all due likelihood. So it would be nice to maybe have him be a little bit more gray, you know? So I need to switch these two around. Uh, no. Derp. 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 Okay, and then I need to move them up to be behind that, which I can do by just doing like that. No, other way. Right? Yes. Uh, except no. That doesn't work. How do I do this? I think I've fucked up the other two, haven't I? Yeah, I think I've fucked up the other two. Because now that one's off. Ah, I do hate these puzzles because my brain just does not work like this. Because I do one thing and then I get hooked up on that solution. Right, so I need to get that dot to there. But I can't do that because it only moves so much. So I need to get it in there. Yeah, I must have fucked these two up. Because I need to, yeah, I need to reverse this entire fucking thing. Yes, I fucked those two up. Oh, God. All right, so I'm basically starting from scratch at that point. But no, like, those... But those are... Oh, God. See, when you know you fucked up the puzzle, then you can't reset your brain to figure out how you fucked up the puzzle. Right, so if I can get that to jump over... Over that... Yeah, because now I've fucked up my brain completely on how the fuck I'm supposed to do this puzzle. Hey. Because that makes those two correct. Then if I can move that over there, but I can't, because that's not how the thing works. Oh, I hate puzzles. Like, I, my brain is getting just sick and fucking tired now. Mm. Okay, so now those are right, and now I need to find a way to move that. Uh, which I can do... Like this? Because now that shuffles them both over. So I need to lock that in place somehow. And then I shuffle them over? No. That, yes, there you go. And the best part is there's the third hole there. So there's supposed to be one of those with three puzzles. Ay, puzzles. I hate fucking puzzles. Ah, 
I like this puzzle better. Wow. There's a big honking thing in here. Lots Apply blunt force trauma to robots. Continue to apply blunt force trauma to robots until robot stops moving. That's more like my puzzle. A far superior puzzle in every way, shape, and form. Occasionally, switch it up and apply ranged trauma to puzzle. That way, you add in a little bit of variety in the video game. There we go. See, that's a much better puzzle. What am I supposed to do with this? A far better puzzle. Much more satisfying puzzle. I enjoy these puzzles, not the other puzzles. Maleficus Shaikon says the most fun part of the game is Arch complaining. Well, if it keeps throwing puzzles at me, I'll continue to complain. I just... I have never enjoyed puzzles. It is not something I enjoy in the slightest. And to place it in a video game... What is this, a kid's game? That is a puzzle key. Nice. What's it for? Uh, I believe good. it activates some sort of process. A puzzle. Again. Am I controlling this? Um. Am I supposed? Okay, it's snake. Uh huh. Snake with slightly delayed controls. <sighs> Game. Why am I playing this? Why am I? Just seriously. Okay. You made this whole fucking video game. You have shooting, you've got RPG mechanics, you got fucking spell casting, you got robots, you got plant zombies. Why the fuck am I playing Snake? Why the fuck am I playing Snake? Hi. <sighs> Snake with slightly delayed mechanics. This is some fuck. I. This is some auteur bullshit. Okay. It's one frame delayed input too, just to make it a little bit more annoying. Ah. Uh. Why am I doing the video game? You you cannot be serious. Do not fucking uh, do not fucking make me do this. Hmm. <sighs> I am not into okay, like video game. You must understand, I don't want to play another video game inside of the fucking video game. Oh, yeah. You see, comrade, we figured the video game would be pretty boring by now, so we decided to put Snake in it. Why? Why did you decide to put Snake in it? Ugh. Why did you put Snake in it? Holy fuck, Charles! Is that the process I just activated? Run! Where? Hey, hey! What the hell are you doing, damn it? Oh, thank you. Very grateful for that. You metal son of a bitch. You scared the ever-living fuck out of me. That was close. Well, whatever. I got the arm. 
This looks like the right one. Oh. Let's go find the rest. And we spawned ourselves some more enemies. Well, stun them all, hang them in the air for a bit. A whole heap and fucking ton of them, too. Very well. Hit them in the glowy fuck me spot, and they die much quicker. At least so the video game keeps telling me. In fact, the video game never actually did tell me to hit, hit them in the glowing fuck me spot, but I presume that is what the video game intends for me to do. Is that it? Oh, no, that is not it. I keep hearing worrying noises from behind me. Screw you. Wait. Are there... Ah, of course there are repair drones. Because fighting the same enemy repeatedly is the epitome of fun and engaging gameplay combat. Okay. Where are the repair drones coming from? As now I need to stop playing the video game and start playing the Where is the Spawner? I can't see a spawner, so I'm presuming they were just spawned in, and once I deal with them, they're hopefully done with. Meantime, I've just got to keep fucking dodging AOE grenade launchers and a mini boss. Okay, spawners done with our repair bots. We decided to put knockdown enemies in our video game too. There. You spawn more. There. Am I done now? Good. And what didn't I loot? Most of it. You can't loot whilst in detective mode, which is mildly stupid. I'm thinking I might replace the shotgun with something else. It doesn't feel very oomphy. It feels... anemic. Charles, why did the boss take the real beta connectors out of commission? Were they defective? Not entirely. Dr. Sechenov wasn't convinced that there was any need for discretionary authority within Collective. So the boss wanted total equality, but Molotov's schemes changed his mind. Perhaps so, Comrade Major. What do you mean, perhaps? Dr. Sechenov wanted equality for everyone. There can be no question of that. But consider this. The Alpha Connector existed from the very beginning. Maybe the boss wasn't planning to use the Alpha Connector's power. More enemies. He just needed it to launch Collective. That's possible, right? Anything is possible. Well, it's better than a puzzle, I'll say that much. Two little black enemies. Well, there we go. We're out of ammunition. Back to fighting with a stick again. Now, video game. If uh, you could be so kind as to give me some health at some point, that too would be quite appreciated. As we've been out of health for quite some time now, and uh, I don't really have enough ammunition to shoot these enemies to death. As I am sure you've noticed by now. And what? Oh, keep running in circles until I get ammo or recharge things. Probably shouldn't activate that, because I'm pretty sure it'll hit me. Is there a th Oh god, it made a third one. Okay.
Oh, there was the baton wheel there. I wondered where you went off to. Oh, you bugged out? Good. Make the pew pew noises. Make the robot stop hunting me. That has a very large uh, field of effect. Which I appreciate. And then we begin running again. Dum -dum -dum -dum. Was there a crafting bot down here somewhere? I feel the need to craft some more health. Ah. The video game ran out of combat music. Do I have one of those recharging thingies on me? I do not. one of them now? That's just one of them now. Okay. Let's try and get you at least then. Right. There we go. One down, two to go. they think they're smart necessarily I just think they have a lot of hit points and I suspect they know it I suspect they are entirely aware of the tremendous quantities of HP that they have been uh, blessed with by their creator now see that was a pretty good swing all right I need to find my fat booty waifu and have her give me some healing Because I really badly need it. Let's see. Where even is my fat booty waifu? I don't actually know. Uh, in here, maybe? In front of one of the combat areas? Okay, this is going back to the beginning. Okay, this there was one here. I think. I think. Or maybe not. Or maybe not indeed. Does the video game have a map function by any chance? No. No, it does not. Lovely. Why would the game have a map system? That would be foolish. That would allow you to find your way around the game world. You wouldn't want that now, would you? That'd be stupid. Disgusting. Dumb. Retarded, even. Perhaps a little bit foolhardy. Who knows? Yeah, okay. First arm's good. Right. Well, that's two out of five. I still like the dungeons more than the underground and the overworld, but uh, the game is beginning to teach me the, the error of my ways, slowly but surely. Actually, I do not need to go all this way around. I could just use the stairs at the end of the map. New scanning cycle. Module 
Limb, arm, left, found. Location, Pavlov floor. Uh, could you be a little more specific? No, this is terrible. It plunged into something warm and sticky. Oh my, it is red polymer. Disgusting. What does this even mean? I am sorry, dear comrade. This is the only data I have available. I hope I managed to help you. You sure did. Well, I know it's inside of Red Polymer. That's help. Full. Thank you for your biomaterial, comrade. Ah, thank God. Fading data. Access granted. I miss the days you would be sassy with me thing. 332. Okay, I've got enough of the healy thing now. Chain lightning. That sounds very useful. Give me that. Access granted. Okay, time for stuff. All right. Screw the fucking shotgun. I do not like the fucking shotgun. Um, that lets me disassemble shotgun ammo too, which is actually quite nice, because I'm not a fan of the shotgun. Don't like the shotgun over much. Kinda like the pistol. The pistol's not bad. What are these? I don't know. They're cute, probably. Okay. Give me a few more health things. Condensed milk. Very well. Ice cartridge. Electrical cartridge. Um, let me keep... Electric. Okay, so they're both electrical cartridges. Okay, let me keep that. Keep the pistol ammo. Alright. Uh, let's make the Dominator, because it looks huge and cute. Somebody really should, you know, snazz up your internals a little bit. They're looking mighty dirty. Okay, nice. I wonder what kind of ammo this thing takes. Oh wait, it uses energy. Oh, fantastic. Authorization. Major Nichayev, code name. All right, all right, all right, all right. That's actually pretty good. Right, let's dump that for a little bit then. That's huge. Okay, um, I could get the Kalashnikov. Do I want to get the Kalashnikov? I probably can't afford the Kalashnikov now that I bought that, can I? I can. But I probably can't carry it. Well, screw that for now, because I can't carry it anyways. Um, if I'm going to be fighting plants, which I am, let's get a fire cartridge. I wish he would just make it instead of kicking me out, but thank you very much. Access granted. Alright, I've got a little bit of that, but let me make... Seriously? Okay, fine. Well, I, I guess I can make more than one at a time. Please select the desired procedure. Okay, that's four healings and one full healing. That's probably good for the time being. Let's get upgrades. More damage. Vector transducer. Increased damage. Plasma. Oh, 
Oddly enough, this has probably turned into my favorite gun at the moment. Because at least it does decent damage. Increased elemental damage. Can I afford both of those? No, I can't. I don't have seven snowballs. Ninety-three goop. That's a lot of goop. Seventy metal. Okay, I don't want to afford that. There you go. It is very foggy in here for some reason. It is very foggy in here for some reason. Are you sexually molesting my waifu? Yes, I don't know how I feel about that. Ah, oh, that looks like a lovely room. I'm thinking it's going to be opening very soon. Wow, a lock. Didn't see that coming. Video game. <laughs> like the most annoying part is they're clearly aware that they have made a fucking annoying mechanic here. They are very clearly, obviously aware of the fact that they have made something fucking annoying, and they're like, "Wow, look at this! We've made something annoying!" Wow. If we keep mentioning it, maybe the, the player will think it's less fucking annoying. I don't know about that. I don't know about that at all. That, however, is kind of cute. You know, retarded sort of sayings. Ah, oh, more juice animals. At least they're giving me plenty of waifus, which is nice. Saving data. Loads of waifus, actually. Okay. That looks uncomfortable. Hmm. Loads of potential health. Aha. They're, uh, Pliskies are resistant to gunfire, use melee against gun scanner, mace, fans, resistances, and vulnerabilities. Right, so. We're gonna be mini boss fighting. That's why there's tons of recharge stations everywhere. Alrighty then. Um. Hmm. Do I have a thing in this thing? I should see if Access I can upgrade granted. it with the thing. The cartridge thing. Let's upgrade it with a cartridge module. Right, I'm carrying a fire and an ice cartridge. I don't need the shotgun shells anymore. Put those over there. Put those over there. And, uh... I did not mean to do that. Not at all. Not in the slightest. I would love to scan that thing. Uh... What? I can install a Neuromed capsule. That's not what I was, uh... Ah, there you go. Right, that's how you do it. Okay. Hello, monster. You're gonna be breaking What's out awfully soon. Users? Be careful. That is a specimen called Pliush, or Ivy. It is extremely dangerous. You don't yeah, say. I've seen this crap before. And of course, the ripped-off arm is in there too. Why Resistance to, to vulnerable to fire. Okay, well, I mean that's not the weirdest thing in the world, considering what it is. Oh. Ow. Okay. Uh, okay. It doesn't give a shit about that. It doesn't give a shit about that either. Unfortunate. Mm 
resistant to fire or vulnerable to fire. I gotta be honest, it doesn't feel too vulnerable if I'm to be entirely honest with you here. It feels actually pretty resistant to fire as well. Okay. But heavy attacks seem to be more worthwhile. Ow. Another hyper aggressive fucking boss monster. Devs like their hyper aggressive fucking boss monsters. Personally, I don't like the devs' hyper aggressive fucking boss monsters. I think they're gay. Uh, quick time events? Seriously? Oh, Insta kill quick time events. Really, video game? Insta kill quick time events. <laughs> Insta mother fucking kill quick time events. Brilliant. All right, let's try that again. What's that crap in the canisters? Be careful. That is a specimen called Pliush, or Ivy. It is extremely dangerous. Yeah, I've seen this crap before. And of course, the ripped off arm is in there too. Why could it just be lying in a corner somewhere? Okay, come on. Tentacle thing. Where's your health bar? Uh, did I fuck that up? Because it doesn't have a health bar now. Okay. Shut your damn mouth. I hope it's taking damage. Not that I would know, but I hope it is taking damage. Continue to hack away at the mass of weird red algae tentacle stuff. Hope that it eventually dies. Okay. Heal. Keep whacking, 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 keep whacking, 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 keep whacking, 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 whacking. Sidestepping is good. Not sidestepping is bad. Alright, I should have brought multiple fire canister canisters because this thing just soaked up my first fire canister and didn't really seem to care much about it. Space. Space. Really? Okay. Fucking four or five quick times events in a row. Riveting combat. There we go. Polymer son of a bitch almost took me out. Let's hope another one of those freaks doesn't come crawling out of the next canister. According to my data, the second canister is sealed properly. Well, that's nice at least. Misa think that's going to be a regular enemy eventually. Uh, middle mouse button. That's not how that works, chat. Middle mouse button does not activate the thing, it just selects the thing. It, uh... 
Uh, look here, I can, I can press it for you. You see that, bottom corner? It just allows you the option to install the mod. It doesn't activate the mod. The, the mod is active whenever you hit something, chat. See, chat doesn't know what it's talking about either. That's the problem. You can backseat game all you want. I'm fine with that, but uh, you don't know how to play the game either. That's the problem. Oh, Jesus. Authorization. All right, let's Major get Chaya. some more fire modules because if we're going to run into more of that fucking thing, and we probably are, I think we're going to need it. All right, I don't want that in there. Crafting... Couple more of these. Yeah, I already got the arm. I looted the arm off the monster, no worries. Here. Just to make sure. See? No arm. Don't buy an AK. Have you infiltrated the VDN is the Kalash shit? The government commission half the chat is saying I'm buy inside. the AK, the other Looking half is saying don't buy the AK. Drill mode. Things have been complicated by a shitload of weird shit. All right, fine. Any more questions? I'll, I'll humor you. Don't let Dr. Sechenov down again. Plus, well, the AK Speaking might be fun. Weird shit. Let's That's waste our random. resources, shall we? I haven't tried the polymer shield yet, no, and I'm thinking it might be good, because I am really annoyed there's no block in this game, and the polymer shield would allow you to have a block, which sounds kind of cute. Um, well, it claims to have uh, good magazine capabilities, at least. So, what will it be, Major? All right, let's see here. Storage and disassembly. Let's switch out. I want to keep the Dominator, though. Okay, let's put the Makarov away for the time being. And what were those things? Adrenaline capsule. Uh, I don't care about those. Don't care about those. All right, don't care about the shotgun shells either. Oh, don't disassemble that. What are those? Fat Boy Rockets. Aha. Uh -huh. Right, well, I don't have a Fat Boy yet, but I will appreciate it when I do. Let's put that away too for the moment. Okay, let's upgrade the Kalashnikov a little bit. Cartridge module, that would be pretty useful. Muzzle brake, increase damage, that's always good, of course. accuracy just straight up increase damage and they look pretty cheap so we'll get these aiming speed rate of fire I don't care about those too much let's no we can't get that one actually we don't have quite enough of whatever the fuck that is metal parts all right Maybe I should bring some bullets for it. That might be smart. Access granted. Maybe. Possibly. Alright. I do have quite a lot of bullets for it. 180 rounds. Good old-fashioned iron sights. Nice and simple. Nothing wrong with it. Forward. To great adventures. And great saving points. Ah. Right. Here we go. Whoa. Come at me! Hey! Why isn't anybody working? Come at me, bitches. I've got a present for you. Ah! Ooh. Yep. That was kind of cool. Lightning. Nice. No, no, no. That was... That was not at all what I intended to dodge. But... 
judging by the effect of it, I suppose it worked out. Are there more of you in here? Yeah, there's more of you. I felt like I was getting hit from behind. I was. Let's see. Ooh. Ooh. Now that's a much better gun. Oh, that was not whom I just had to hit. Okay. Come on, that's one down. I hate you and your fucking ranged attack. I am going to get so many copyright claims for this. I can hear it in the goddamn music. All I hear when I listen to this music is just copyright claim, copyright claim, copyright claim. That is all I hear. It's the only noise I can actually register. No, 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 no. You go be on the roof for a little bit. There you go. Oh yeah, this gun is the first gun I've actually kind of enjoyed. This one is kind of nice. I've not liked pretty much any of the other guns. They all sound plinky plonky and stupid. This one's not bad. Straight through the mother humpin' wall. Okie dokie then. If you say so, Mr. Robot. Get through that bloody shield. There we are. Now what, Mr. Robot? Now that you're naked and vulnerable. And dances? Jesus, die already. Thank you. There we are. Okay, that room wasn't as much of a pain in the ass as I thought it would be. I am almost positively surprised. Again, I suppose it helps that I locked half of them outside of the room. And yes, Chad, I am thinking that I might want the polymer shield, because that thing does look really damn good. I mean, the telekinesis is nice, because it allows you to hit all of them, which is really cool, but it doesn't seem to do a whole lot of damage, or any at all, really. I thought I would hate that thing a lot more, but I'm actually growing used to these looks. Charles, so after the whole beta connector idea was dead, they made the neuro connectors with discretionary authority? I'm afraid so. The power struggle in the Kremlin will never end. The party elite insisted on having power even within Collective. Well, they're our government, right? We're the USSR. Indeed, oh, we God. are. But Collective was designed to be for everyone on Earth. Now the I'm USSR derped. is not the only country. <laughs> we can't let capitalists and imperialists into Collective. Why not? Collective was designed as a worldwide union for equal human beings, where robots will do everything for them. Everyone will have the same opportunities. The capitalists won't like the sound of that. Unfortunately, no one in power will see equality as an appealing prospect. So to avoid being crushed by the Kremlin, Dr. Sechenov programmed discretionary authority into Collective. I see. <laughs> Hmm, I think then anybody would actually like it. It would be the capitalists. Like what, robots doing all the labor? We can just laze around all day? Sounds pretty fucking cute, honestly. Right, let's try the shield instead. What are the party elites if everybody is equal? Yes, chat. That, I believe, is kind of the problem. Like, what, would there be party elites if everybody's equal? No. Well, that doesn't sound very appealing, now does it? Correct. Lost health is recycling energy. That sounds correct. Okay, let's get that, because I do need more energy. 
Now let's get the shield. Install to the E. Of combat polymer. Destroying at full capacity, then retracting at full Deploying. No, deploying at full capacity, then retracting it. Course the. Okay. Okay, that sounds useful too. Alright. Alright, so it's a bubble. Defend against enemy attack and instantly counterattack. Okay. Hmm. Well, that certainly sounds promising. Let's see how good it is. <laughs> Makes me feel a little bit like Bubble Boy, but, uh, you know, such is life. Sometimes you must be Bubble Boy. Not always, but sometimes. <laughs> Don't worry, my darling. I come to put another foot on you. <laughs> It'll be lovely. Don't worry about it. It'll be great. Eventually, you'll be all in one piece again, and you can get back to servicing your human overlords with that disgusting painted-on little mouth of yours. Ugh. Here's your left arm. <laughs> Go ahead, fix yourself up. Mark James says, we'll send Archer Ruby Cube. That'll give me your address. That'll cause you all kinds of problems. Oh, any problem like that, I I hate I hate puzzles. I fucking hate puzzles. I just really hate puzzles. Yeah, it's just uh just a part of my intri intrin intricate intrinsical intrinsical being. I hate puzzles. Let's see. Wait, no, this is the wrong floor. I need to go up one more floor. Brrr. Dodged it. Dragon Master Outcast says, I got a good way to toll the blue hairs when they start ringing about female space marines again. Just saying, they are trans, and by making them female, they are participating in trans erasure. Oh. Well, they are transhuman after all, so I don't see why that wouldn't work. Scanning the exhibition area. Module head found. Establishing coordinates. Shit, it's dark here. Hmm. I got a bad feeling about this. Me too. Particularly after seeing that spawner on the wall. Okay. Hmm. AK so bad. I don't mind the AK so far. It's pretty cute. Alright. Oh, hi. Uh... That does mean that I can't see where the hell I'm going, mind you. Okay, okay. Are we... Are all of those spawners? They are. Rightio then, sir. Very well. Let's see, what if I do that? Well, that worked to a certain extent. Actually, turning on that cleaning robot might be a brilliant idea. Let's do that. Clean them all, little robot! Clean them! Actually, that did not do anywhere near as much as I was hoping it would do. Okay. Leading robot disappointed me. I missed that one. Bit confused as to how the fucking shield is working. Just a pinch. Two more down. Just one more to go. Eat it and die! Oh. Bit many of them, ain't there? Okay, there's 
One more left. There. Now I'm free to deal with these fuckers. Come at me, plant boy. Oh. Well, that did not deploy in time. Okay. All right. That didn't do anything. Maybe it's only against projectiles, but it did say block melee attacks. Hmm, not sure. Regardless. Well, that was disgusting. Are you resistant to electricity by chance? Resistant to gunfire. No, they still take full damage from electricity, so it doesn't matter if I zap them. There. Not too bad. Lots of stuff. Sylvie D says, Arch, stop deleting your videos. Where is the Bannerlord, PT? Um, it probably went away during the great, uh, the great channel hack of uh, whatever the fuck year. Where I basically delisted all of the non-Warhammer content on the main channel. Probably. Maybe it'll appear someday. Somewhere else. Who knows? Sorry, it's just Bannerlord. Nobody cares about Bannerlord. Bannerlord's old now. Been out for ages. It's a video game. Ooh. Press the button. The Neptune Complex is an underwater city that has been located at the bottom of Lake Lazur since 1944. The complex is a one-of-a-kind research facility whose primary task is working with special water plants used in the production of polymers. The structure of the complex and the unprecedented precision of its design impressed the world's engineering community so much that in 1954, international investors asked Soviet specialists to build another underwater city off the coast of Iceland. Well, ain't that just cute? I wonder if it was uh, a Bioshock island. Oh, all it. Yes, thank you. I didn't mean to close the door. Do a new Bannerlord thing? Eh, maybe. I don't mind Bannerlord. It takes a while to play that game, though. Saving data. Uh, I haven't found a head yet. Ding, ding, ding. Thing. Thing. I thought that puzzle was going to annoy me a lot more. But it's not really a puzzle, it's just a timing thing. And I'm okay with timing things. Fucking... Whoa. Where's the shit Whoa. way out of here? Underground what or something? You sneaky little bastard. It's mobile now. Okay. That's even worse. That's actually kind of a cute design. I like that. Annoying, but cute design. I mean, I really wish I knew what the fat boy was and where. Right, what's over here? Nothing? Ooh. Uh, can't scan things through the glass. That's a little bit too complicated, you see. The glass is made up of polymer, you must understand, and therefore non-scannable. Yes. I can't wait till the day when something pops up at me and scares the shit out of me in the sewers here. And I'll scream and I'll be scared and then I'll be worried about going into the sewers again. 
Oh god, this is gonna pop my ass up straight in that room, isn't it? Oh boy. Fuck me. Where am I supposed to find the head? You need to enter Icarus Hall. Right it is located on the second story of this venue. So where's the entrance? Oh, that's supposed to be a doctor robot. I, I see. Information. What? Everything's got mixed up after the malfunction. No shit, see? Sherlock. Okay. Considered powering the beluga. How is that supposed to? If help? it's a doctor robot, I partially understand why it needs that injection nose device. I still think that's a. It's a pinch too Fantastic. massive a gauge so needle, off. mind you, for Just what it's what supposed to be doing, doing, but oh well. Ah, oh, more of them. Uh, oh god, there's a fucking warning thing in there. Okay. Need to kill that first. Did I? No, I didn't imagine things. There it was. Okay, deal with that first. Then we'll worry with about the robots. Ah, shit. I hit the thing, too. The damned little engineer thing. Probably the damn fucking most dangerous enemy in the game are the goddamn engineer bitches that you're not supposed to be hitting. Unfortunately, they are damnably simple to hit. And both of you can just calm the fuck down for a little bit. Oop. I've almost got over the habit of fucking pressing the goddamn, uh, the goddamn alt key instead of the shift key to dodge, but not quite. All right, that comrade. All of the robots have been eliminated. All of the little robots are now dead. Oh, piece of shit! I'm fine. It didn't call anything else. Right. Okay, the AK isn't terrible. I do wonder how expensive its ammunition is, though. The Beluga is the world's fastest multi-purpose submersible vehicle. It can reach speeds of up to 78 kilometers. That is actually ridiculously fast in the water, yes. Carry out civilian and military missions at depths down to 3,000 meters. We've learned more about the ocean floor over the last few years than we had during the previous century. If you ask me, we're better off exploring the depths of the ocean than outer space. True, by the way. Why is that? Because you got to know your home before you can start visiting other people's. Well, no, that's that's so a retarded what was wrong reason. With the real beta connectors. Since collective was the real reason is because there is undoubtedly a lot of cool shit down there that we don't know, yeah. and some of that cool shit that. will probably teach us how to explore space because of the ridiculous pressures pressures down there. Basically, if we can live on the bottom of the sea, there's no reason why we can't live on the moon, etc. Shit, the alpha connector. Indeed, intruders who are an opposition force among equals could try to obtain the alpha connector. This could lead to human casualties, which would be unacceptable. So how could beta connectors stop this from happening? They didn't give their carriers any discretionary authority, but they did allow them to be present within Collective without being a part of it. In other words, they had total autonomy while retaining access to the information network. So what? That's basically what we have right now. You're seeing this from a human perspective. What other kind of perspective could I... Oh, crap. The boss wanted to put beta rings on some robots so no one else in Collective could control them. Indeed they are. At first, Dr. Sechenov planned to order his loyal twins to guard the Alpha Connector. While logged into Collective, he could control them from anywhere on Earth. At the same time, no one else would be able to give them orders. They wouldn't even know that they exist. Hold on, Charles. <laughs> I don't quite get it. Would it be possible to launch Collective with everybody equal? Then, 
destroy the Alpha Connector? Certainly. But that begs another question. Who would choose to do that? Dr. Sechenov. Are you sure about that, Comrade Major? Yeah. I mean, I guess. I have a sneaking suspicion that uh, my so wristwatch Charlie is very uh, top. Is not who he tells us he is. Charlie might well be an alpha connector himself, which is why he has such a remarkable degree of apparent autonomy. Oh, Jesus. Well, those are hostile. And once more. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. But unless they can fire rockets underwater... Ow. Nope, I think they can. Okay. But I cannot heal underwater. Hmm. Unfortunate. Well, those were mildly annoying. More than mildly annoying, actually. But somehow I doubt my little wristwatch is intended to be quite this forthright and open if it weren't for the, uh, the fact that he's probably quite special. Hmm. Maybe that was Daddy's plan. Maybe Daddy gave me the strange wristwatch to uh, test me. Maybe Daddy gave me the strange wristwatch to keep it safe. Who knows what Daddy was thinking. Daddy's a bit of a weirdo, as it turns out. I am very saddened by the fact that the twins are not more prominent, though. Don't stay in the dark. Don't stay in the dark. I don't know. I'm sorry. Uh, where am I going? This way. The polymer is definitely giving you hints as to what the fuck happened. Where the fuck? Ah, there you go. If you stayed inside of it, you'd probably learn most of the story right there. And the story is that Daddy probably fucked with our heads. Almost certainly. Daddy is not a nice guy. The question is just how much of an asshole Daddy truly is. And whether or not he was an asshole for the right reasons, I suppose. I mean, there are good reasons to mess around inside of somebody's brain and turn them into a loyal super soldier thing, I guess. I feel a bit helpless as I hang here. I am trying to, uh... There we go, find a way off. I'm just getting started. No, don't fall over. Thank you. I wish they'd put in a bit more enemy variety than this, because most of the other uh, bo the other, other bots are a little bit too strong. They needed another, like, Mustache bot that was better than Mustache bot, but not even necessarily better, just different. That is, Mustache bot, but different. I suppose the, uh, the plant zombies are uh, kind of intended to fulfill that purpose, but they don't, really. That's the problem. The plant zombies are just plant zombies. Which is kind of the problem, because it doesn't really fit in with the game, so they're an alternative that actually feels more jarring than anything else. Okay, so if you bring up the bubble shield, fucked in the head? just as you get hit, I think I think that kind of knocks them back? Yes, yes it does. Okay. I don't know if I'd classify that as a counter-attack, mind you, but it's certainly a thing. Mm. 
a Haley capsule. Thank you very much. I suppose it makes sense to have one robot to multitask, and that's why they made it into a humanoid robot, so it could essentially do all of the humanoid tasks, I guess. Again, that does make sense, but from a video game perspective, it makes less sense, because it's just... I've been killing this fucking robot for the entire goddamn video game now, and, you know, I'd prefer to kill some other robot occasionally. Just every now and then. Just for a little bit of variety. Uh -huh. Hmm. Well, Jeffrey says, I'm happy to plant monsters as an alternative enemy type, and Bioshock, I was bored with the splices being basically the only enemy type most of the game. Yeah, I see that. In fact, that's kind of the argument I am making right now. This is where the power comes it's from. It's better to I have the plant dumb. zombies than Endless not have them, I suppose, but... I died because of my stupidity. If somebody buries me... Sorry, I don't have time for this. I feel like it would be better if there were more robots, too, on top of them. Hmm. So, like, the voice lines are cute and all, but they're not very well done. Um, okay, so I need to make all of them green. Right, so that produces green. So, if I put that there and that there, then I need to feed green into that, which I do like this. Yes. Nice and simple. Bam. Okay. Well, I found the exit. And I've turned on the power. This is good and highly beneficial for me, you, and everybody else involved. Can I jump into the water without taking damage? Let's find out. I can. Okay, thank God. You know, what they could do too is, they could spice in a little bit more of the different enemies, but layer them in different areas. You know, so you go to kind of a hospital-esque building, and in the hospital building, there are lots of these bots, like the... Did you take no damage from that? Uh of course, the motherfucker with the lightning rod just shoots through everything. And he can also pass through all other robots. I don't really want to be stuck in a room here with you guys. Sounds, uh, dandily unfortunate to me, honestly. Okay. Well, at least the bubble shield essentially allows me to just DPS them a little bit, which is nice. I do hate how that thing passes through just every single barrier in its way. It uh, makes it kind of, sort of, difficult to motherfucking deal with. The bubble shield is absolutely a fucking better upgrade. The ability to just be able to fucking take their punishment and even dish them back is a very big deal. I still don't think I'm getting loot from those fucking enemies, though. If you freeze them, you don't lose or loot them. Even though I'm supposed to be getting extra loot from frozen enemies. Right. Nice. I am certainly not above abusing the game's uh, buggier parts for my convenience. And so if you're going to be stuck there, that is entirely fine by me. I will have no sympathy for your disability. 
Because frankly, if you're dumb enough to get stuck in a doorway, you do deserve to die horribly. Go, little submarine. Let's see if this thing helps. Whoa! Don't come over here, little submarine. Did it? Oh yeah. All right. I have created a submarine-sized ramp for myself. I think. Yes. That was indeed the intent of that. Whee. Right. What do we have here? Tereshkova, do you copy? Yes, dear comrade. The communication is restored. So, where's that head of yours? My head is where it's supposed to be. But Claire's head should be somewhere on your floor. Like I said earlier, something is crushing it with terrible force. Like a migraine, like an excavator, like an entire mountain. I get it. I really do. All your whining is giving me a migraine, too. I'll go look for it. Well, I will go look for it, but uh, not today. That will have to be uh, maybe tomorrow. I do still try want to try and finish this game because uh, I do hate, I do hate the puzzles. But I actually quite like the combat. I quite like the world. I just, I wish it would be a little bit more cooperative with my retardation, frankly. Right, then we're gonna save that, and we're gonna wrap it up for today. And uh, we'll be doing some Blood Bowl instead in a bit. That will be a nice calming game. When Blood Bowl is the less stressful alternative, you, um, you might have done something weird. It's entirely possible. It is entirely, entirely possible. Right. Thank you all uh, very much for watching, and thank you for your generous donations. And hopefully, I'll see you all again as we continue our chase for the Silver Twins, which, unfortunately, the game is attempting to hide from us. I don't understand why. I find this entire decision to be deeply unfair and disingenuous and gay, honestly. But such is life. Have a good day.